Joining us now on the show is a man who was the flag bearer really of Indian squash, once the highest ranked Indian squash player and someone who won as many as nine professional squash association tour titles. Ritwik Bhattacharya joins us. Ritwik, thanks so much for joining us on the show. We tried to get someone from the Kendriya Vidyalaya administration as well, but they refused to come on our show this evening. That really is not a big surprise. But first up, what's your first reaction about the state of these courts in an academic institution that you attended yourself till class 7? Oh, well, good evening. It's, I was just seeing a bit of the footage as well, and it's really sad to see because, uh, I mean, a lot of money has been spent and a lot of infrastructure has been built. And to see it lying in ruin like this really breaks my heart, you know. These Kendra Vidyales, I studied in a lot of them all across the country, and uh, they are literally in hotbed for some talent. And a lot of talent can really blossom or sp uh, spawn in these places. And, you know, to be not utilized or not have a plan going forward after having made them, it really seems, uh, I mean, really sad. Absolutely. Ritwik, you mentioned how expensive these courts are. I'm told that they are around 20 to 25 lakh rupees. That's what uh, each of these courts yeah. cost. Now, is it the mindset overall that's prevalent in the country? Khel ke kya kar loge? And is that why sport is where it is in our country? Uh, it's changing. I think, you know, with the results we've had recently in squash and in a lot of other, other sports as well, it's uh, uh, much better. There are a lot more players playing professionally. But, you know, our, our clubs are not uh, conducive enough for champions to train in. And we need, you know, specific centres where you can play and play professionally. Which in India, unfortunately, there aren't many. There's one in Chennai and that's about it. There's not much uh, happening. So, you know, courts like this in the Kendra Vidyale is, is fantastic. And, you know, I believe that more courts should be built like this all over the place. But with a plan for coaching, with a plan for a you know, whole system and a structure of training, so to give access to all the kids, Today, a lot of kids are going to America to play squash and, you know, get higher education over there. It can all be fit very seamlessly in with the Kendra Vidyales. Ritwik, do you think part of the blame also falls on the SRFI's shoulders because they didn't want to maintain these courts because there was no commercial interest in, in maintaining these courts for them? Uh, I mean, we, are, we all have to look at ourselves. I don't know if we can blame the National Association completely. I mean, it's part of the thing, but there's a lot of things that they're doing and looking after, including, you know, training the Indian teams and things like that. I just feel that it's uh, the correct people have to be looking at it and, you know, really care about it because after making a club like this or, a, you know, a center like this or an academy like this, the Kendra Vidyalaya management also should have taken some responsibility, got coaches who are available in the country today and our coaching level has gone up to you know, come and do a basic program over there and then use the help of the Federation to upgrade it to another level. But to, you know, uh, instead of pointing fingers, I think it's better to just look at how we can make this better because already this much infrastructure is there and we should really look at seeing how you know, it can be utilized. These courts have them. There are 15 courts over there. I mean, yes. even in the Commonwealth Games Stadium in City Fort, we have 11 court unbelievable complex lying over there like a white elephant and it's not being used to its potential. So it's, it's uh, across the board, it's not just with the Kendra Vidyalaya or with the SRFI or anyone for that matter. Well, that's really a very important point that you make over there, Ritwik. It's not perhaps just these uh, 15 courts in these five Kendra Vidyalas across the country. Instances like these can perhaps be seen in other places when it comes to squash courts. Uh, hopefully someone from, maybe not the Kendra Vidyalaya administration, but maybe someone from the SRFI is listening and will perhaps do something or the other about it. But as Ritwik said, let's not put all the blame on the National Federation's shoulders. Ritwik Bhattacharya, thank you so much for joining us.